Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another mail call video. Today's mail call video is for the month of June 2016 and the theme for June was Cards with Hearts. For those of you who are unfamiliar with mail call, it is a feature here at YouTube and at my blog where I give you guys a theme for the month and then you send in cards based on that theme and then I get to show the cards on camera. So it's a great way to kind of connect with everyone and see all the different cards that we're making. So like I've done in the past, I'm going to start out by showing you cards that stood out to me or cards that I just really like the look of, as well as cards from our younger crafters. So I'll go through all of those and then we'll take it from there. This first set of cards is from a mother and daughter team. You guys have seen them in the past. This is Alex and Clara who live in New York. The first one is the mom's card and I think it's just so cute. I love all that texture from the wood grain cardstock she's used. And then on the inside, take time to do what makes your soul happy. Just love that all the yellow used on this card. And then Clara did a really, really um, creative thing with her card. There's actually three panels to it. So Clara's 10 years old. This first one says, the sun will come out tomorrow. You open it up and it says, when life gives you a rainy day, play in the puddles. And then this flips open and it says, I'm here for you, rain or shine. I think that's such a cute way to include a bunch of different uh, stamps and sentiments and have it be kind of like a progressively unfolding card. I think it's really creative. So great job, Clara. All right, this is another mother and daughter team. The mother's name is Carla and they're from California. This is her card. She's done lots of fun water coloring and cutting out of hearts. And then inside it says, with all my hearts. I think that's so cute. Love you with all my hearts. Adorable. And then her daughter, she gave me special instructions on saying her name. Uh, her name is pronounced Elia, which I think is so pretty. She's 13 and she's created this larger card. Looks like she's watercolored it into a heart. It's really, really pretty. There is beauty and simplicity. And I love that the inside of her envelope is a different color. This card is from Jenna in Nevada, and I thought it was just so cute and creative how she did this. Look what this does. It says, you hog my heart, and you open this up, and you see the back of the pigs. <laughs> it's so cute. Such a fun way to use some of those stamps that where you have the front and back. Uh, most of the time you open the card, like the whole panel, and you see it, but she's just made it so that it's the fence. I think it's such a creative way to include some of those stamps. You can write your... Uh, message to the recipient right there. So cute. This card is from Becky in North Carolina. She's created a shaker card. See all that, all those heart sequins moving around inside. I love you this much. And then you open it up and this part flips out. Isn't that so cute? She's created a little heart area with the panda. Adorable. This card, let me zoom out here so you can see the entirety of it. This card is from Samantha who is 15 in Italy. Looks like she's used the stent heart stencil from Simon's Stamp and she's inked on some different colors. And I love that she put you plus me equals awesome at the bottom. Such a fun card. Okay, this next group of cards is actually from three sisters and two daughters of one of the sisters. So they decided they would get together and make some cards and they use my mail call as an inspiration for their card making, which I thought was so awesome. So um, I think it's Christiane is one of the sisters. She's created this card. Oh, by the way, these um, sisters are all from Canada. So she's created uh, some stenciling and these hearts are, <laughs> they look like heart shapes with their strawberries, so cute. And then this is one of the sisters. Her name is Carrie Ann, who, and she is 15. And I love how she's created a butterfly out of the hearts. This is Caroline. She's the third sister. She has all these fun hearts on the card. I think it's supposed to be like this, actually. And then Caroline has two daughters. This one is Mahi or Mahe, I'm not sure how to say her name. She's two years old and they said that she did some finger painting and then they helped her um, cut out the hearts. That was such a fun way to include a very younger crafter. And then um, her older sister who is eight, also the daughter of Caroline, um, her name's Micah or Maika, I'm not sure how to say that, but she used hearts and created a pinwheel out of it, so fun. 
All right, this is a mother and daughter team from Ohio. Uh, first is the mother, her name is Geneva, and she's created this really pretty gold foiled card with all those, all those hearts. So pretty. And then her son, Genesis, who is six, um, I believe he had, um, they had sent some cards last month and she mentioned that she loved seeing his cards on camera. Um, he picked out the embossing powder for this and he did the whole card, um, lots of the card himself. So the amazing job. I love this lawn font stamp set too. Okay, you ready for this card? I have to cover a part of it because it's so cute. Okay, this is from Mary Lynn in Washington. Okay, you see that up there? Aren't they so cute? So happy mail and then sending handmade happiness your way. I thought this was such a fun way to use images, have them peeking out the top of the card. So creative. This is another team. Um, this is Jen in Canada. She's created some fun scalloped heart die cuts with patterned paper peeking out, a little heart stamp inside. And then Braylin, who is 11, and they're from Canada, by the way. And she sent me a really fun note inside too. I love all the red used on this. Okay, these two cards are from Sisters, and I'm not entirely sure who did which card. It wasn't labeled, but their names are Hallie, who is 11, and Malia, I think, or Malaya, who is a nine in Pennsylvania. And look how fun this is. It says, I thank God for you, and then you open it up, and it continues on with the scripture verse. So fun. And then this one, follow your dreams. Decorated inside. Isn't that so cute? So such fun cards from Hallie and Malia. All right, this card is from Wendy in California. Such a cute teacher card. And then this, I believe, um, is her, or this card is from her daughter, I think, Macy, who was seven. And she's created some fun heart balloons and painted them and then have it say love. Such a fun card. This next group of cards is from Brenda in California. And um, she sent me this little note and said that um, she went to Alaska to meet her third granddaughter. And she crafted with um, a couple of the older granddaughters. So she um, wanted to include some pictures of all of them. They're so adorable. Look how cute they are. And here they are crafting. So she didn't mention who made which card, but I wanted to, so I wanted to show all of them. But they did some embossing and some die cutting, it looks like. So cute. And then this last one. A little owl on the inside, so cute. And then this envelope, lots of die cuts. So thank you so much, guys. Okay, this card and envelope set is from Bethany in Indiana. And this is so fun. Look at this. It's a spinner card. And it has the word hello in it. I've seen a lot of spinner cards. I don't know that I've ever seen one with a word on it. It's such a fun idea. And the spinner mechanism is awesome in this. So if you guys didn't know, you can, um, while it's open... You spin it so that it makes the string really tight. And then you close it. And then when the recipient opens it, they open it and it spins. So fun. So thank you, Bethany, for sending that in. I love your use of hearts right here too. This card is from Charlotte in New York. And I thought this was such a fun way to incorporate hearts into her card. She's created a whole house out of this shape. She used um, some embossed card stuck up here and some trees and then you've got all the house inside. I just think it's such a fun way to incorporate some hearts on a card. This card is from Jenny in Ecuador and I have to fluff this up. There's different patterned paper underneath. So this is a very dimensional card. I think it's just so pretty. I love how she's, I'm not sure if she used a border stamp or what she did, but um, this really thick border of gold embossing powder. I think it's such a fun way to add color and shine to your card. Okay, this last set is a, also a mother and daughter team from Canada. This is the mom, Victoria. And I love how she's embossed these flowers. They've got a little shine to them. 
and it's two or near the three enamel dots to kind of match the colors. Such a fun creative card. I love this pattern paper she's used in the background too. And then her daughter, Sydney, who is 12, um, made this card. I love that she colored all the flowers in different colors. And you guys might remember from a couple months back that um, we got a card from Sydney and she had included the Instagram name for her guinea pig's Instagram account. So she wanted to send along a picture of her guinea pig, who is adorable. And um, this is the Instagram name. So I'll put that on screen. Um, I She, thankfully, um, after I put up the name for her Instagram, we discovered that wasn't her account, it was a different one. Her mom contacted me and made sure I have the correct one. So, so I did get the name of her Instagram account out there. And she mentions that she has 201 followers now, which is amazing. Hope you guys are enjoying um, Abby the guinea pig's posts. So fun. So now I'm gonna go through the rest of the cards. I'm gonna show them on camera for a little bit. There were so many cards this month, it's crazy. In fact, I think I had maybe 10 or 15 cards that were labeled for April. I thought that was so strange. A lot of you had mentioned that in the April mail call that you were sad that your card was, wasn't shown. Well, I think I figured out why. There probably was just a stack of envelopes or a stack of cards that never made it to my mailbox. And eventually they did make it, so I'm glad I'll be able to include those. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the rest of the cards. for watching mail call for June 2016. If you would like to know the themes for July and also August, make sure to check out the video description below or you can head over to my blog. They're listed in the sidebar or at the blog post with this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.